Alright guys, before I start this video, I just want to say this game was actually DM me by the creator himself, Stray Free on Twitter. He DM'd me and gave me a little description of what the game is, and he thought through whatever reason that I, he should send me his game to try it. So in this video, you're going to see me play this game not involved. It was a pretty interesting game, but on the truthful side, it's also just not my sip of tea. But overall, I did enjoy playing that game, it gave me a different vibe and different feeling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Yes, sir. And today we're gonna be playing Not Involved by Straight Flick. Now, what's interesting about this gameplay is that he actually DM me on Twitter himself and asked me to play this game. I looked through it and I was like, okay, this game looks actually very interesting. It's different from most games I've played, so I'm about to play this game. Give him my ratings and then go on about my day. I'm excited though because this game actually looks very interesting, different from what I've played. But you know, I don't like to keep the intro long, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's get straight into this thing. Oh, just click on the screen. I'll leave this stale world pretty soon. Yes, I'm still in the same town, and I'm not getting any better. If you have a desire to meet with me for the last time, then use the worm. I don't have much time left. Yours, Amari. P.S. I'm not mad about the school. <laughs> and of course, you will go head along. After all, it's Amari who wrote this. For 13 years, you've lived well without him. Well, okay, relatively well. And here you are. Don't tell me that you're going to use a worm for this. Sooner or later, they will drain you. This is the doctor speaking. I won't forgive myself if I let Amari down this time as well. Okay, so I'm a doctor. Last time... Girl, that's a booty hole. Oh, snap. So this is like a story-based game. Kind of interesting. Underground worms came into use not so long ago. Oh, it like teleport you? For a modest price of one memory, you could even get to the other side of the continent. Okay. I like the background music. It gets like an airy vibe. Failure first person exam. Oh. Exam? You make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. Oh my god. Damn. Mentor. Oh my god. Here's the next patient. You need to find out what happened and prescribe a treatment. Before you is a girl who looks quite unhealthy, although very sad. Good evening. How do you feel? I'm okay. Well, I can't tell you one or I can't tell you one thing. There's clearly something wrong with her. Well, yeah, clearly. Does anything hurt? No. Mm. Oh, he said mm, too. Hey, just check how she sits. Look at her eyes on her hands. Apathy, depression, all at once. Turns out he tricked you. You'll have to work with mental illness as well. This is going to be fun. What is this? My specialty also? I didn't prepare for this. Say nothing. How are you? How do you feel? How often do you feel good living? Do you have enough energy for down the table? What activities do you find good? Let's not make it too subtle and question her like there's something wrong. Because she don't feel pain, she probably don't know there's something wrong with her. I don't know, that's just my thought process. So we're going to ask what she does. I like to lie and do nothing. Okay, so look, that's the first sign. She don't do nothing, she just lie down. Just lie down and stare at the ceiling at the walls. It's nice to hold the little one in my arms sometimes. She reminds me of my mother about how good she was. Are you eating enough? Do you have thoughts of death or suicide? How good are you with focusing and making decisions? Let's see, are you eating enough? I can't even look at food. Oh. After our father left, I only cook for the little one. It is very important to have the strength for everyday affairs and for taking care of the little one. Yes, I understand that. I try to eat at least a small crust of bread once a day. I think you've learned enough. Of course, you can ask father, but this is not your field. The girl is clearly depressed. And how can we help her? I prescribe a medicine that should help you, but in general, it's all in your head. Just chill. If you smile more, then, then life will be better. Here's your medicine. It will help relieve the symptoms, and here are some tips. Okay. You know, I slick do feel the pressure is all in your head, so I'm going to go with the first one. The medicine is a good thing, but I don't want to hear the second part of the phrase from you. Even if it's all in the patient, you shouldn't talk about it like that. It looks like you depreciate what the patient goes through. Patients need to be treated with great compassion, especially those who have mental problems. Got it, my bad. You stupid. Oh, well, that was the wrong option. A few moments later. 
Nearby, you can see a frowny old man who is staring right at you in a skeleton pole in a garden. Behind one of the nearest huts, you hear a man swearing and the sound of creaking trees. Approach the old man, approach the skeleton, choose the noise behind the nearest hut. Okay, so the man back there was, they said, was kind of rowdy. Like, he going out. We don't want to mess with him because he might be like, hey, why you around here? Knock me out or something. The skeleton is gardening. It said an old man. Old man, you know, they're pretty calm. Even though he look mad, he might question my head. I'm going to go to the old man. The closer you get to the old man, the less friendly he becomes. Though it cannot be said that he ever looked like he was glad to see you. He smells strongly of alcohol and tobacco. His breath is hoarse. Lung injury, most likely asthma, tuberculosis. Do you really care? Before you even open your mouth, he starts. Oh, I should lift him up. Look, who's that? <clears throat> Where is Mecky has found his way to our little town. Don't you feel sorry for yourself? You're willing to give these monsters a piece of yourself? Are you in such a hurry to live your life? I don't know what this accent I'm trying to do, but it's all right. We'll see how you'll feel when they, when they dry you completely. These worms, do you know where they come from? <clears throat> That's it. They appeared out of nowhere. And me, Mac, is a flag. Do you even know what they do to these memories? Or with these memories? They keep them, wait them patiently. And what are they waiting for? That's simple. They want to understand and by what can we live so that it'll be easier for us all to be destroyed and devoured. That's right, gobble up. They know that if in they start eating right away, they'll most likely be exterminated. That's why they wait, cunning creatures, and folks like you help them be home strong. Oh, he spit on me. <laughs> he spits on your feet. Well, should we wait until he finishes cursing, or should we go to someone nice and stop wasting our precious time? That's why I think we have more choice and more possibility for you. Okay, let's go behind the house. No, I've changed my mind to the so let's go to the skeleton. Okay. Good. <laughs> What are you doing here? Do you know how I can find Amari? On a wrong piece, the end house was as severe. Her pinky turned right and turned south on the left, which is located in the position of all others would be Amari turned. Thank you. Why did you decide to help me? I'm not fully there yet. have you been like that? I oh okay. I gotta get back to work, thank you. You leave her standing just like that. Okay. Do you do you want to know what's going on behind this hut or, or are you ready to move to tomorrow? Nah, let's just go bro. You follow the road, turn right from the house with the spire and there it is. The third house on the left is on the outskirts. Oh shit, I know this um, sound he's using in the background. I can't remember who it was, but I think it's like Kevin McLeod, maybe. Approaching the door, you notice that all the shutters are closed. You knock, nobody answers. You knock harder. Under the first do under your fist, the door opens slightly. How will you enter? Kick the door off your feet, just let it slide open. You carefully, without creaking, open the door. You are in the hallway. It's clean here. It looks like someone has recently cleaned. From the hallway, there is another door that you decide to open. And there, a smell of rotten decay very familiar to you. What else is there to say? Oh, Lord. What the world? Amari, what the heck are you doing? I, 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 what? What is he doing? Is he? Thank you for playing the first chapter. If not at all... We put our heart and soul into this game so it means a lot to us. If, if you will leave your feedback on the game space. Okay. So we continue. Not at all. We'll get a screenshot of that because that might be the thumbnail. That was a lot. A lot of reading. Okay. 
So I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Truth be told, the game was alright. Me being a person of action, sound effects, and jump scares, it didn't really, you know, suit my boot. But that's alright, though, because it was something different. And I expect games that are different from what I used to play to be a little, you know, opinionated. But, because I don't explore much. So I'm trying to basically, what I'm basically trying to say is, I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy the game. Because I think the only reason I would say that is because I'm not used to games like this. But at the same time, I can't say I was a little lost throughout the chapter. I feel like it was just, we just jumped straight into it. I feel like the subtitles, it was too much reading to, I don't know. If I had to rate it on scale of 1 to 10, I'm not going to lie, I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10. Because although it gave good sound effects, it was like the reading, all that Taoist and coming affairs. That's that like Shakespeare type of talk. I don't like that. It made my reading, it made me hard to focus in on what I'm actually reading. Like, I read it, but I don't understand it. That's what I'm basically trying to say. But overall, game is like a 5 out of 10. Will I play it again? Truth be told, probably not. But it was an experiment, so... It is what it is. But shout out to the developers of this game, Straight Feet. Hopefully, you can keep working on games in the future. Keep going. It was still a pretty interesting game. It's just not my, um, you know, not my type of flow. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and remember, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're handsome. Don't let no one tell you other than that. You have a great personality. Never change yourself for anybody's opinion or hate towards you. I love you, EXO Game. Peace out.